All right, welcome, 266 subscribers, so awesome. Today in geometry, we are going to learn about special right triangles, which is basically just a shortcut for the Pythagorean theorem. It's very, very useful, especially in pre-calculus. We use it um, pretty often. So it's pretty much the introduction to trigonometry. We're gonna learn some trigonometry next class, after break though. So today, we're gonna start with um, what type of triangle is shown below? So this is an isosceles triangle right here. So we've got two sides of the same length and they just put an S next to them. And our, this worksheet is gonna be attached. The relationship between the lengths of these two sides that are congruent, and sometimes they'll show you that by putting a little mark like this. Okay, those sides are the same length. We also know that from the base angle theorem because if these angles are the same, the sides across from them are the same. And that was back from like unit four. So the relationship between the lengths of the sides and the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is one of the special types of triangles that we're gonna learn about today, is the length of the short, the sides, times the square root of two gives you the hypotenuse. That's all you have to memorize. Sometimes though, they give you the hypotenuse and ask you to find the length of the side. So if you're going from the length of the side to the hypotenuse, you're multiplying by the square root of two. And if you're going from the hypotenuse to the side, you are dividing by the square root of two. We're gonna do both types of examples today. So example uh, one. Ooh. Gotta turn this on, right? I had a student in pre-cal, in another class actually, a kid I don't even teach that's watching my videos, told me my sound needs to be better. So, I have an amplifier now. Because I take suggestions from you guys. You guys just have to tell me and I'll improve it. And if you're in another classic algebra two, just email me and I'll make you videos on whatever content you want. Okay, so example number one. So we've got a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that means it's special, okay? We've got this relationship. The relationship between the lengths of the sides, which are the legs, and the hypotenuse, which we know this is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle, is times square root of two. It's the length of the leg times square root of two. So I can just fill those values in. The other leg is the same length, right? The legs are the same length, though, so those are both fives. And the hypotenuse is five root two. Now I want to show you the long way to do that. You can actually do that with the Pythagorean theorem. I'm just going to scroll up and show you up here. C squared, let's say we don't know the hypotenuse, but the lengths of the legs are five. This is 25 plus 25. So C squared is 50. I know I'm going quickly, but you can always rewind this video or pause. Square root both sides, C, equals, and now we have to simplify 50, the square root of 50, the largest perfect square that goes into 50 is 25, because 25 times two is 50. So I'm gonna break up the 50 into 25 times two. And feel free to ask me a question while I'm doing this. 25 comes out, and that's five root two, which we already knew because of the shortcut. So that's why we're learning special right triangles. So we don't have to go through all this because we already know and have this memorized, this relationship. Any questions on that? Example two, now we're being given the hypotenuse and we're asked to find the lengths of the sides. So again, to go from the length of the side to the hypotenuse, we are multiplying by the square root of two. So to go from the hypotenuse to the length of the side, we are dividing by the square root of two. This one's kind of nice because seven root two divided by root two, that's just gonna give us seven. So it's seven, seven, done. Questions? All right. So if you're watching this video, I'd like you to do pause the video right now and do the two practice examples, practice one and two, 
and I'm gonna show you the answers right now. So pause it, do the two practice examples. Now here are the answers. So again, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, this missing angle has to be 45 because 45 plus 45 plus 90 adds up to 180. We know the sum of all the angles and the interior angles in any triangle is always 180. So we know the lengths of these two legs are the same because it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if this leg is six, X is equal to six. So you get the value for X. To get the value for Y, it's the hypotenuse. So it's just six times the square root of two. This one, we're given the hypotenuse. So we're dividing by the square root of two to get the lengths of the legs are the same. Questions? Going once going twice. Sold. Moving on. The second type of special right triangle is a 30-60-90 triangle. And the relationship, it's a little bit more complicated because the lengths of the sides aren't the same. So there's two relationships we have to memorize. The first one is everything revolves around the length of the short side. We have a short side. Now, and we have a long side. And we also have a hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. The short side is across from the 30 degree angle because as we know, the angle is short. The side across from it is short. If we make that angle bigger, the side across from it is bigger. So the long side is across from the 60 and the short side is across from the 30. So wherever the 30 is, across from that is the short side and that's where we start. Whatever this length is, times the square root of three gives us the long side whatever the, sh the short side length is, times two, not root two, times two gives us the hypotenuse. So if we're given the hypotenuse, we're gonna divide by two to get the short side, and then multiply by the square root of three to get the long side. Or if we're given the short side, we multiply by the square root of three to get the long side, we multiply by two to get the hypotenuse. Hardest one is when we're given the long side, we have to divide by the square root of three to get the short side, and then times by two to get the hypotenuse. So everything revolves around the length of the short side. If you're not given the short side, you have to find that first. So, I can show you this using Pythagorean theorem, but it's the same thing as what I was just showing you. This is shortcut. You could also use Pythagorean theorem to do these problems. So if I look at example three, and I see the only length I have is six. The six is across from the 30 which makes the six the short side, which is nice. Because now we can we know we have our starting point. This is the long leg. So six times square root of three gives us the length of the long side. So that's six root three. And then six times two gives us hypotenuse. Done. Last one and then I'll show you the practice. 30 degrees is right here. That makes this other missing angle 60 because 30 plus 60 plus 90 adds up to 180. So we are being given the long side. So we have to, from the long side to the short side, we have to divide by the square root of three. So seven root three divided by root three will just give us seven and then we times it by two to get the hypotenuse. How are we doing? I got one head nod. And I got a smile. Deshaun, can I get a shrug? Can I get a whoop whoop? Come on, people. It's almost break. All right, so if you guys wouldn't mind, oh, I should have answered, I should be doing that. Pause this video. Do the two practice problems, and I'm going to show you the answers right now. Okay, so practice three and four, find the missing side lengths. All right, so short side times root three gives us the long side, times two gives us the hypotenuse. Here in practice four, we are given the hypotenuse. So we divide by two to get the short side, we get 10. And then 10 times root 3 gives us the long side. So viewers, that is it. Um, if
If you guys, please, please subscribe. Remember, if I get 300 subscribers by Friday, which I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm only at 266 right now. I think I've only gained 30 subscribers in the last week. But if I get 300 by Friday, I'm gonna, I decided I was going to, I thought I was going to wear my Justin Bieber shirt, but I think I'm going to wear my, uh, a onesie that I got from Joey um, Chinchotti. Do you guys know him? Um, it's a onesie. It has cats on it with Santa hats and snowflakes. And I'm going to wear my new heritage hat, which, by the way, was delivered to me during my um, recording yesterday so far. Um, and I'm going to, I think I'm gonna just going to go, which, which classroom should I go into and sing? I was thinking Miss Coy. Who else? Who? Miss Coy? Who else? Email me if you have a suggestion. If you watch this video and you want me to go into a particular classroom. Because Friday is what? Is it an A day? Yes. So if you have... A3 is my planning. So if you have um, a particular class you want me to go into, especially A3, tell, email me. It's going to be awesome. I have Boutwell A3. Boutwell will love it. I'm doing it. Boom. Boutwell A3. I don't know her as well, but I'm sure she would love to listen to me sing. Who wouldn't want to listen to me sing? All right. 